journey started at Art Maui when um, I had a piece in the show and Michelle and I were having a glass of wine and talking about the show and it was a little bit lollipop. Tom's piece did not get in the show and I asked her to describe it for me and I was so moved that I, I go, we gotta, we, ha we gotta get it out there and seen. And um, in the previous year, I was on Oahu and participated in a War and Peace show that was presented by Jody Endicott and Linda Von Gelder. The experience of, of meeting these people and their intensity on what they were doing to promote peace and end this war really, really moved me and, and was life changing. And uh, when Michelle and I had this conversation, we said, let's do our own. Let's start it up and get it going. We're in the space we're meant to be in. Um, we got the artists that wanted to participate. The turnout has been um, more than anybody could have ever imagined. And we have, I'd say upwards of 100 artists now. I, I took another piece in today. So we're five days in the show, we're still receiving work because if somebody has a voice on Maui that they want to be heard, I want their, their work in it. So we're going to continue to take work until we close, if we have to. I moved to Maui in 1988. I lived in Kauai in the 70s. Uh, picked tarot, surfed, all those good things, group bought, you know, all the good things from the 70s and came back for good in 88. Went to apprentice with Tom Fott, who's a phenomenal artist. He's my mentor. He's my father, brother, sister. He's everything to me. He's a great man. He did the statue of the Queen Kahamanu at Kahamanu Center. Um, I moved on to the property with Tom then and started working in stone. Um, from there, I've been doing that for the last 10 years now, and um, that's mostly where my focus is, in three-dimensional work, mostly in stone. I do use some of the local woods here, um, but I love stone. This piece here is Silent Observer Without Consequences. Um, I had made it a few, few months back before we even started to do the show, um, and to me, it's a sentinel. It's an oblique. It stands here quietly, absorbing the energy, the light from the camera, my voice. But it's going to be silent. It's a piece of stone. It has no consequences to what we do. My point in this is that with this war, with the state of the environment, with the state of Maui, traffic, pollution, if we stay silent, we're contributing to it. We're observers to everything that happens to us. And if we don't have our voices heard, Everything we don't want to happen is going to happen. So the stone will stay here way after I'm gone, and it's not going to have a problem with anything, whereas we as human beings on this planet striving for peace, striving for clean air, need to get out there, need to have our voices heard, and need to speak up about what is important to us and our families. Aloha to me is never not being able to look somebody else in the eye and smile that's it right there whether you know them or whether you don't smiles are free share them aloha maui today